Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and in this video, we're going to be doing a roundup of esports tiger mouse pads. You can see this is a bulky stack of mouse pads. I had, had five sent out to me by Addison. Huge shout out to them. Obviously, it doesn't affect the review, but I have been sent many mouse pads, and I've had them for a few weeks, and I've only done a full review of one, so I have a lot to cover. So I'm going to start off with like a general overview. They are sold on Addis Inc. and they range from $30 to $35. This is um, pretty affordable for high quality mouse pads, in my opinion. Um, if, it's, if you disagree, fine. Get a fucking QCK, hate yourself. I don't care. Not my problem. Uh, they are 480 by 400 millimeters. This is a bit smaller than Artisan XL but the size is going to be perfect for everybody. Like, this pad is not going to be too small for anybody. If you're some fucking retard Fortnite kid with an inflated ego because you play, like, 60 CM, fine, get a desk pad once again, don't care. Um, but the size on these pads are good enough for me. They are also 4 millimeters thick, and on some of the uh, smoother, like, more plushy pads, it's very comfortable. Um, the main pad I'm talking about here is the Long Tang. Um, it's 4 millimeters thick, and it's very comfortable like a bit more comfortable than the Minerva even uh, the designs they're pretty cool for some people they might be a bit too punchy um, I get that they do have some that are more chill like this one I don't even really understand what's going on but it's a cool design um, what they have some more tiger designs this one once again this pad's a fucking mess when I get into it I'll explain why I like loathe this pad and I don't know the long tang design is really cool it really pops out at you but that's enough about the designs obviously you can look at more pictures on the website if you so wish uh, all of these pads are coded at least according to their website's descriptions and that's not a good thing of course, because that means they're going to wear down faster than their non-coded competitors. Um, I haven't noticed any problems yet, and most people, it'll probably last you like a good six months around um, of like decent use, but nobody really knows. It varies on a case-to-case -case basis. I have heard people saying that their long tanks have worn down, and they became a trend like fucking when, like three, four months ago? Uh, so I don't really know about the durability on these pads. It seems very decent. Uh, but they are high quality. The stitching is good on most of them, um, aside from this pad, which isn't stitched at all and is already fraying after, like, literally hours of use. Like, uh, this pad has spent more time on my bed than on my desk, I promise you. Uh, they also come rolled up, and they don't lie flat at first. And that was something that I wasn't used to. When I first experienced it, I was like, damn, what the fuck? Um, but it, after, like, a day and I put my mouse bungee on it, they all started to lie flat with the exception of this one. Um, I'll get into that later. This one's just been bumpy ever since I got it. But the main ones that I actually care about, they did eventually lie flat, and they are nice now. Uh, another thing to mention, the rubber base is decent at best. And what I mean by that is that the like base itself, like it moves around a bit like this, but that's not like horrible. Um, like the properties of the base, they aren't the best. They aren't on the level of artisan. But in game, when you have your arm planted down and you're just swiping your mouse around, like I've rarely been able to move the pad. It's happened a few times, um, but it's not an issue to be worried about. So base checks out. Um, they're affected by humidity to varying degrees. It's totally on a pad per pad basis. I'll explain it. Don't worry. Um, for the first pad, I guess I'll just get into the Huo Yun Special Edition of the Long Tang. The Long Tang SE, as it is referred to colloquially. Um, it's very similar to the Aqua Control Plus. Can't say it's the exact same thing, but it is a faster pad. Um, very low static friction easy to micro adjust um, but it's a faster pad doesn't have a whole ton of stopping power uh, but it's a uh, all right it's one of the better textures it's not going to be the most comfortable pad on the market um, it doesn't have much give either I'll do a classic lighter test this is like my edition of Rocket Jump Ninja's fucking uh, CD thing or whatever. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have a ton of give. It's not the most comfortable surface. It's not smooth. Anybody who says it's smooth is a fucking retard who hasn't tried many mouse pads. Uh, but it's a nice surface, good for performance. I can't really recommend this pad at $35, but I'll give it like a 8 out of 10 because it's very... It's not affected by humidity um, at all, really. And... 
the coating, if it's the same as the Aqua Control Plus, that means it's going to last for quite a bit of time. So a pretty good pad, um, one of my more preferred ones. On to the next one. And next up we have the Long Tang. This is actually one of my favorite pads in general. I'm certainly my, in my top two for a control pads. I like it much more than the Minerva Inked Gaming, etc. Because it has the same like coating and the same like glide, but it's much plushier. And it really just feels like a pillow when you're just like resting your arm on it and swiping around. It's still a uh, control surface, but it's not like too slow. It's not like a fucking mud pad by any means it is affected by humidity um a decent bit not the most out it's not like the most i've worst i've experienced but yeah it's certainly something to note uh but it really does just feel nice and comfortable gliding around on it i understand the hype around it but it is coated so it will wear down eventually that's what keeps it from being a 10 out of 10 um i made the individual review same still stands 8 out of 10 here is the uh, Kin Sui Zwan. I I'm so sorry once again if I just totally botched that. Um, this mouse pad isn't very good, at least in my experience. It is a true mud pad, and that is just fucking gross. It has, I mean, I'm presuming that it's just getting fucked by the humidity, which is why it's so bumpy and just, it's basically like a battle against the mouse pad to move your mouse. And on every mouse I've used, um, it's just been fucking unusable. So I have not enjoyed this pad whatsoever. Think of it as like a... Uh, GSR mixed with a bone pad like it has the same smoothness of the bone pad um, like very similar and it has the same like plushiness of the long tank but it is just so slow and it's static friction is so high um, this pad is just unusable for me um, just swiping around it's literally bumpy I don't understand like how to prove that uh, but trust me uh, it's not a fun pad to use uh, but the quality of it's great. It's thirty dollars, so it's the same price as a long tang, and I I don't know. I can't recommend it to anybody. And the design's weird. Um, it's red and black, but I have like no idea what's going on. It's kind of cool though. I fuck with it upon farther examination. Uh, but yeah, that's really all for that pad. I don't know. Not much more to say. Just really not a fan. Uh, three point five out of ten. Four four out of ten. Four out of ten. Next, we're going to talk about the Ling Yun, and this is a pad that's very similar to the Longtang SE, um, but it's not as fast, and it offers a good bit more stopping power, and in my opinion, it's a, a preferable surface as well. Um, it's I can't even begin to describe the texture difference. It is so minimal, um, but it's a bit more comfortable. Once again, not very plushy. Um, it has a bit of give. I can't really determine if it's more than the along tang se or not uh but it has a bit of give um fairly fast though a good bit of stopping power not as much as the long tang but it's also not as fast as the long tang se i think about it as sort of a hybrid between the aqua control plus and the hien um, probably like 70 percent aqua control plus 30 percent hien if that means anything to anyone uh but relatively low static friction and it seems like i don't know as you can see in the glide it seems to like gain speed right once it gets going a little bit and i've noticed this in game it's pretty fast um but it's easy to control i'm a fan um 8.5 out of 10 actually I just think that the Alingyun is overall a bit more refined than the uh, Long Tag SE. It's a bit um, more of a balanced surface to play on, I guess you could say. And I don't know. Um, overall, it's a really nice pad. I don't recommend it over a Hien, but it's certainly a, a more budget and availability friendly option. Uh, so, yeah, take that for what's worth. On to the next one. And for the final eSport Tiger mouse pad that I received, we have the Kinsui 2. This mouse pad is $25. It is extremely thick. They advertise it at 6 millimeters. Um, that's just wrong. I don't, I, it, this is thicker than 6 millimeters. Posted a picture on Twitter earlier if you care. Um, it's already starting to fray. That is a terrible sign. Um, I've had this pad on my desk for maybe like six hours of actual in-game time, so there's that it should not be fraying that badly already. Um, it's extremely thick, which is just weird, and it also the edges are sharp. I don't know how to explain this other than by telling you like that if you 
if you rub your arm, especially like your wrist, like if you're doing like horizontal arm movements while aiming, um, it's going to be sharp and like slightly painful. And it's not like it's unbearable, but why would you ever decide to have a painful mouse swiping experience? That sounds extremely counterintuitive, and it just ruins the overall comfort of this mouse pad. And it is pretty badly affected by humidity. Um, worse than the long tang, not as bad as that fucking, the Kid Suiz Juan one. Um, but yeah, it's a, a control surface, has a bit of speed, definitely airs on the side of control. Mine isn't too badly affected by humidity right now as it's not that humid out. Um, but overall, I just wouldn't recommend this mouse pad to anybody. However, it is the cheapest one. It's kind of like McNuggets. I presume it's made out of like the fucking waste out of all of the other mouse pads. That's why it's so weird and cheap. Uh, but yeah, for this mouse pad, I'm going to give it like a 5.5 out of 10. Um, eh, 5, 5, 5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, that's all for the pads. I'm going to find out the average of all of the ratings and then let you guys know what I think overall. So I added all of the ratings up and I got 6.7 out of 10 as the average rating. But let's bump that up to a 7. And honestly, I feel like that a few of these pads are just really um, not the best. While some of the other ones are great, affordable, high quality mouse pads with very nice surfaces. And the only downsides really being the coating and uh, for the long tang, the fact that it's affected by humidity. Um, to answer the question, do I think this is better than Artisan? No, absolutely not. To answer another question that might come up, will I ever touch any of these mouse pads after publishing the video? Yes, most certainly the Ling Yun and the Long Tang. Um, those are my two favorites for sure. Um, in order, it's probably Long Tang, Ling Yun, um, Long Tang SE, and I'm not even going to rate the other ones. I will try to review the... Uh, any other like future pads that come out as they come but this is the uh, roundup for the first five that I got sent and honestly um it could have been much worse I I just like I said a few of those pads they're just not it um for me at least since I've tried so many pads uh, but yeah that's gonna be all for this video hope you guys enjoyed it was a lot of info so I apologize if I like glanced over some things but that's like an overall roundup I hope you guys understand make sure to like it's up peace